Well, U.S. Senator Mitt Romney plans to retire at the end of his term in 2025, and this will end a political career that spanned decades. And with this announcement, Romney left his party with his own personal words of wisdom. ABC's Faith Abube has this story. Standing there. After two decades in American politics, Utah Republican Senator Mitt Romney now preparing for a new chapter. The 76-year-old announcing that he does not plan to seek re-election in 2024. Romney served as governor of Massachusetts in the early 2000s, and after a failed bid for president in 2008, he won the Republican nomination in 2012 before ultimately losing to former President Barack Obama. The senator saying it's time for a new generation of leaders who can tackle the major issues facing the American people. Now we face critical challenges, mounting national debt, climate change, and the ambitious authoritarians of Russia and China. But Romney made the most news criticizing his own party. The moderate Republican, a Donald Trump critic, who voted to remove him from office during both of his impeachment trials, now warning the GOP against staying in the shadow of the former president. The uh, Trump wing of the party uh, talks about resentments of various kind and getting even and, and settling scores and, and revisiting the 2020 election. My party is only going to be successful getting young people to vote for us if we're talking about the future. Trump calling Romney's looming retirement fantastic news for America, the state of Utah, and the Republican Party. His departure would mean even fewer Republican moderates in the U.S. Senate. The announcement uh, by Senator Romney, it was bad news, really, because he is such an example of courage uh, in the United States Senate. And excerpts from Romney's biography set to be released next month went even further. Romney telling the author, quote, a very large portion of my party really doesn't believe in the Constitution. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.